no karma is possible without ishwara's presence ishwara's assistance ishwara's availability and without ishwara's manifestation therefore every action which one takes up ishwara is present ishwara is not responsible but ishwara is making it feasible you cannot blame ishwara for an action you have to blame the karta for an action or you can praise the karta for an action but without ishwara being present as a body as a mind as a intellect because all of them are made up of what they are all made up of ishwara's body only sattva rajas tamas that is ishwara's upadhi so anything which the karta the jiva uses to perform an action is ishwara's grace and blessings which that individual should use it appropriately and rightly that is the individual's responsibility when he does that it becomes a noble action when a individual does not do that way it becomes a ignoble action and the action leads to an apurva a unique punya that is also because of ishwara's niyati niyati is the law and the apurva leads to a karma phala that is also because of ishwara's niyati and the karma phala reaches the the karta who performed and no one else at the right time at the right place at the right occasion in such a manner that the whole cosmos runs just imagine the complication involved that every jiva has to get its result not haphazardly not accidentally but as per law and the universe functions so when you even the when you look at the whole cos, cosmology presented by our rishis you find all of them have to gain their results at an appropriate time and each one gaining their results at an appropriate time and in and through that compassion also should be there it's not a punishment any sorrow coming to any individual is not a punishment it's not a reprimand yes it is a result of the jiva's action but the basis of it is compassion every difficulty every jiva goes through ishwara is there to support and to help the worst of the difficulties ishwara is there in the best of the joys ishwara is there the joy should also be for good the sorrow should be also be for good this vast complexity of cosmos of karma and karma phala is governed by ishwara so perfectly that it is not a chaos but it is a cosmos how much we should be thankful for ishwara for that